One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired. I'm tired of being good. I'm tired. To get that good is a terrifying journey of self-discovery and confronting who you really are. Because you cannot make change until you acknowledge where you're actually at. Life is a fight for territory. And once you start fighting for what you want, what you don't want will automatically take over. And so it's a fight, it's a challenge in life every day. And what we have to do is embrace it. What we have to do is see it as a project to be worked on. I've read something once that I live by, it said in life you will always be faced with a series of God-ordained opportunities, brilliantly disguised as problems and challenges. I choose to make changes and not excuses. I choose motivation over manipulation. I choose to excel and not compete. I choose self-esteem over self-pity. I choose to listen to the voice from within versus the voices from without. I choose to fulfill my destiny. I choose to get the job done. I choose to finish what I started. It takes time. It takes practice. It takes failure. It takes getting up. It takes you trying it again. It takes doors closing. It takes people walking out. It takes time for you to get to your success. Sometimes it's going to get dark, but you got to find the light. The light is within you. Believe in you when no one else does. Understand that your purpose will be fulfilled. It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. It may not be next week. But it's coming. And as long as you're alive, you got to keep going. Get prepared for the success. Get prepared for the progress. You can make this you. Make this power yours. Yours to keep forever. Because this is what you're going to leave behind. This is what your legacy is made up of. The moments when you get knocked down but rise up over and over again. These are the building blocks of the legacy that you're constructing. These moments when you push forward and rise up over and over again. With everything I have to be the best that I can possibly be. Better than I was yesterday. Better than people thought I could be. Better than I thought I could be. Then claim one victory that no one can ever take away from me, ever. A lot of you feel stuck because you're waiting for some kind of external force to either push you and pressure you to change and to be great and to be amazing, or you're waiting for somebody to give you permission. You're either sitting back because you need some sort of external motivation from somebody that's gonna push you or praise you or pressure you in order to change, or some life circumstance, like maybe in your past you've, you've experienced trauma or you faced something really scary and that was the thing that made you change. And then the second thing that people wait around for is permission. Look, those may or may not come in your life. If you are somebody that is sitting around waiting for some external force to come and do the work for you, that is such a losing bet, it's unbelievable. Maybe you'll get lucky, maybe somebody will come, but more than likely, no one is coming. The only kind of force that will truly create change in your life is you, the internal kind of force. I hate to say it, but for those of you that feel really, really stuck, and you keep thinking that somebody's got to pick me or somebody's going to discover me or somebody's got to give me permission to write this book. It's, it's ridiculous. This is external versus internal force. And what you have to figure out if you're stuck is, are you the kind of person that is guilty of needing, wanting, and waiting for external forces, people, an event, some outside force to kick you in the ass so that you'll finally do the stuff that you've been dreaming about doing. I want to tell you something. No one's coming. No one. The people in life 
that get what they want are the ones that aren't waiting for an external force to validate their dreams, to inspire them, to give them permission. It's the people that realize that success, that happiness, that control, it comes from the internal force. And what is the internal force? It's you. It's you. It's you being able to realize that no one's going to do the work for you. It's you realizing that you're never going to feel ready. In fact, even as you start working toward the things that you really want to do, you're definitely not going to feel ready and you're going to feel outside your comfort zone. And that's normal. When you start to feel like you're stretching yourself and you're sticking your scrawny neck out there and you're taking some risks, that's amazing because you're growing. So if you want to do something, if you thought about something you want to do, take it head on. Decide that you're going to start looking at it, start doing research on it, start tackling it, start becoming involved in whatever and wherever it might lead you to begin to explore the possibilities in that particular thing that you're seeking so that you can begin to learn all you can about it. Decide that you're going to face it, that whatever shortcomings you have, that you're going to strengthen yourself there. Whatever training that's required, that you're going to go get that training, that you're going to get started right now. George Washington Carver would say, do what you can, where you are with what you have, and never be satisfied. S.B. Fuller used to say, and I heard Joe Dudley talk about, always strive to be more than that which you are. Yeah, don't get satisfied with yourself. Always know that wherever you are, you can enjoy more, that you deserve more. But most people, you know what they do? Most people go through life quietly and safely, tiptoeing to an early grade. Find out what it is you want, and go after it as if your life depends on it. Why? Because it does. You haven't developed grit yet. And so grit is the ability to persevere, to see things through, to go past the point at which it is stopped being fun and it becomes boring because you believe in your end goal enough, you're excited by what you're trying to accomplish so much that you're willing to fight through all of that difficulty. You're willing to fight through the boredom. You're willing to fight through the unease that arises when you step outside your comfort zone. You're doing things you're not good at and things that are boring. Those are the two things that I find kill most people. They just cannot handle the things that make them go, oh, Oh God, like I'm not very good at this and I'm feeling really badly about myself. And they forget that they can get good on a long enough timeline. And then two, inevitably, in any pursuit of greatness, in any endeavor where you're trying to gain mastery, you're gonna get bored. Because practice is repetition. It's doing something over and over and over and over to really train yourself to get to the point where you're truly exceptional. And there's just so much boredom inherent in that process. So building in the resilience to see all that stuff through is the key part of grit. Your ability and willingness to discipline yourself to accept personal responsibility for your life are essential to happiness, health, success, achievement, and personal leadership. Accepting responsibility is one of the hardest of all disciplines, but without it, no success is possible. The failure to accept responsibility and the attempt to foist responsibility for things in your life that make you unhappy onto other people, institutions and situations completely distort cause and effect, undermine your character, weaken your resolve and diminish your humanity. They lead to making endless excuses. There is a direct relationship between the acceptance of responsibility and the amount of personal control you feel you have over your life. This means that the more you accept responsibility, the greater sense of control you experience. There is also a direct relationship between the amount of control you feel you have and how positive you feel. The more you feel that you have a high sense of control in the important areas of your life, the more positive and happy you are in everything you do. When you accept responsibility, you feel strong, powerful, and purposeful Accepting responsibility eliminates the negative emotions that rob you of happiness and contentment. In every situation, the antidote to negative emotions is to say, I am responsible. Then look into the situation to find the reasons why you are responsible for what happened or for what is going on. Your intelligence is like a double-edged sword. It can cut in either direction. You can use your intelligence to rationalize, justify, and blame other people for things you are not happy about. Or you can use your intelligence to find reasons why you are responsible for what happened, and then take action to solve the problem or resolve the situation. You can make excuses or you can make progress. You choose 